The main boatyard of Egypt's second biggest city hasn't launched a vessel in years. Mr. Al Kuptan says that former regime officials took away his boat building permit. I don't even understand why the last ship we built was back in 2000. We kept asking why. We went to the Prime Minister and the Ministry of Economy. They didn't do anything. There was no response. But then Egypt had a revolution. Mr. Al Kuptan finally thought a new government could solve his problem. He thought he could finally build boats again. Before the president actually became president, he came here and received our case. Mohammed Morsi came and took the papers himself, and everyone here from his party knows this. He came and saw this injustice, and he did nothing about it. Workers here carried on with small jobs and repairs, but they believe President Morsi did not deliver. Now they're being asked to vote for his draft constitution. Nothing is clear. They say wait, wait and wait for the new constitution. We respect the president, but we need to work. Mr. al Kaptan represents just one point of view, but it's a point of view that will be difficult to change. He feels let down by Egypt's new leaders, and he sees no benefit for him or his shipyard in the draft constitution. Boat building has been in this family for almost 100 years. Now, they build only models. It's not much to pass on to future generations. This means nothing for me. Imagine if you were a brigadier general and you became a simple soldier. Is that right? Being a leader and then being reduced to nothing. The government here is asking Egyptians to move forward and vote. But Mr. al Kuptan has seen enough. He's just trying to sell his souvenir models without much hope for the future. Casey Kaufman, Al Jazeera, Alexandria.